A band of international outlaws hit Valley ATMs and other money machines across the state. The sophisticated heist crew used deceptive disguises along with tricks and technology to slip away from the crime scenes. Federal agents say this criminal crew dressed as construction workers to gain access to their targets. Action News reporter Kate Nemrich has been diving into this complex case. She joins us now with how the robbery operation finally unraveled. Kate? Warren, Margo, this nearly 80-page criminal complaint reads like a plot ripped from a Hollywood script, detailing the criminals' costumes and tools used to gain access to ATMs across the state, and the methods law enforcement used to track the robbers, including air tags, Airbnb reservations, and even money apps. A group of bandits caught by security cameras across California conducting heists, making off with hundreds of thousands of dollars in the Central Valley alone. Disguised in construction vests and medical masks, the group allegedly cased buildings holding ATMs to coordinate their plan of attack. The FBI began investigating the group in May after an attempt at an ATM in Merced matched similar cases in the Sacramento area. The costumes and tactics stood out to investigators, including spray painting security cameras, signal blockers, and blow torches. After months of making their way up and down the state, the FBI alleges to access an ATM in a Modesto business, the group took a divide and conquer approach. Several members of the group entered a next door pet spa, while some distracted employees, others tested the material of the wall. Outside, members dressed in construction vests spray painted security cameras. After hours, the posse returned, cutting through the wall of the pet spa to get to the ATM, then breaking into the money machine with a blowtorch. Similar tactics were used in the Fresno area, where five locations were targeted across Fresno and Clovis between May and September. The group succeeded at three of the locations. At two Fresno locations, they made off with about $100,000. In Clovis, at least $300,000. As the FBI investigated, three cars kept popping up in surveillance video from targeted ATMs. At least one of the cars was stolen and was part of an underground rental car operation. That operation was tied back to a club promoter in Hollywood. After searching his phone, the FBI found out there was an air tag in the car, which they traced to a Turlock Airbnb. Through the air tag, Airbnb reviews, and social media posts, the FBI was able to trace the group's movement up and down the West Coast. At one point, they even used a money app to identify one of the suspects by attempting a transaction. Eventually, they were able to compile a suspect list of 10 people. Only nine have been identified. Most are said to be Chilean nationals, now all charged for various parts of the operation. Many of the suspects are said to have used multiple identities and have prior criminal histories and other warrants out for their arrest. One could be facing extradition back to Chile for a 2015 theft case where someone died. According to the LA Times, the group was able to make off with $2.5 million through their high scheme. At the live desk, Kate Nemerich, ABC 30 Action News. Hey, Central California, stay up to date with all the latest news and weather. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to ABC 30 Action News.